2018 Mercedes-Benz V-Class Review The Good Points of Mercedes-Benz V-Class Massive Interior Luxury Car Technology Easy Drive and Automobile Efficient Engines The Bad Points of Mercedes-Benz V-Class Expensive to Obtain Noisy Diesel Engines Still Looks Very Van-Like Fuel Filler Frustration this will be the Mercedes-Benz of class, a gargantuan MPV made to appeal to well-eeled large families, active sporty types and corporations offering luxury transport services. It's the third-generation Mercedes of the type, essentially a deluxe people carrier version with a Vito van. The of class resurrects the name used on the first iteration and replaces the Viano. It has few direct rivals but chief among them will be the evergreen Volkswagen Caravelle. More recently the Citroen Space Tourer, Peugeot Traveler and Toyota Proos Verso have joined the fray, although none match the plushness offered inside Mercedes. There's also the long-in-tooth Hyundai i800, or in case you're after something more left-field, and a little more conventional car-like, then look at the less expensive Sangyong Turismo. Shedding its van image. Mercedes-Benz is keen to forfeit the V-Class's commercial vehicle ties and calls on contemporary design cues through the likes from the class to provide more car-like features, while an AMG line trim level complete that has a sporty body kit lifts the outer further. There's an exceptional two-section dashboard design as well as high-quality seat materials, again borrowing heavily in the look in the class's cabin. Its swooping lines are some sort of a way through the Vito's angular cliff of plastic. Inevitably there's a butt or two, though. While its perpendicular flanks liberate multitude of interior space, they make sure the outside remains van-like, whilst the low-mounted fuel filler flap, secured because of the front passenger door, is reminiscent not just in the Vito, but virtually every one of the company's commercial rivals. Propulsion derives from Mercedes' venerable 2.1-liter twin-turbocharged diesel obtainable in a number of two power outputs, the V220D has 163 horsepower, the V250D offering 190 horsepower. Both transmit their ability to the trunk wheels with a 7-speed automatic gearbox. It's the less powerful with the pair that's marginally the harder efficient. Even so the superior performance in the V250D causes it to become easier to reside in with. Spacious and practical. There are lots of practical features including the separately opening rear window attached for the upper tailgate frame. When along with the flexible boot storage this implies items is usually loaded to the vehicle while not having to open the rather large rear door, handy for car parks where space is fixed. The size from the electrically operated tailgate itself can make it ideal to be a rain shelter, should unexpected downpour catch you, and providing you've got the surrounding to open it. Interior space from the V-Class is impressive. It's obtainable in three lengths, standard, long and extra long, with either 7 or 8 seater configurations determined by whether you specify a 3 seater bench with the middle row. The driver and front passenger get four-way lumbar support and also seat heating, while fully electrical adjustment from the seats is recommended. Contemporary onboard technology. Technology is really a Mercedes hallmark that's prevalent within the V-Class, such as the combined touchpad and rotary dial multimedia controller. This clever little bit of kit enables the motive force to scroll throughout the various menus displayed about the screen using their fingertips, just like how you manage a smartphone. There's either infotainment system supplying the latest Satan of technology, Bluetooth or even a Wi-Fi hotspot, even though it uses your smartphone for tethering as an alternative to having its own 4G connection. It's well equipped, too, with including the entry-level sport versions including a 7.0-inch multimedia screen with Satan of, the full leather interior, LED headlamps two electrically operated sliding doors and ambient lighting with three color settings. It is additionally available which has a plethora of security features, including blind spot assist to warn you of oncoming traffic from your rear, lane keeping assist that vibrates the tire when you veer within the white lines and Distronic Adaptive Cruise Control.
An optional 360-degree camera makes maneuvering this massive car less difficult and should be chief one of the extras you plump for. Latest deals from Buayacar. Mercedes-Benz V-Class V250 D AMG. 47,500 pounds. Or 638 pounds a month. Mercedes-Benz V-Class V220 Dispo. 44,500 pounds. Or 643 pounds each month. See all deals on Mercedes-Benz V-Class. Representative example, representative APR of 7.9% borrowing 10,509 pounds over 48 months on HP Type Finance. The total amount payable will be 250 pounds 30 days having a total cost of credit of £1,483 plus a total amount payable of £11,992. Dennis Buaya Car Limited, 3132 Alfred Place, London, WC1E7DPG BO9151058 is really a credit broker regulated by FCA FRN 667368. The Verdict if carrying people as well as their luggage is usually a priority, then little else on the market manages it in these plush surroundings since the Mercedes-Benz V-Class. Its size might be intimidating for most drivers, as well as its height restricts use of multi-story car parks, but essentially it's both simple and easy comfortable to operate a vehicle. Watch on for that full Mercedes-Benz V-Class review how good the pinnacle of van-based MPVs happens to be. Two diesels are that are offered. Extra performance with the V250D is welcome. All of classes employ a 7-speed automatic. While two little petrol engines for you can market Mercedes-Benz classes isn't a surprise, that there's no hybrid version is one thing of a disappointment. For British V-Class customers, performance is served up with a pair of twin-turbo diesel engines. Entry-level Mercedes-Benz V220D. Under the V-Class's bonnet, and nestled within the windscreen and dashboard in truth, is Mercedes' familiar, somewhat clattery, 2.1-liter diesel unit. In V220D guys, formerly V220 Blue Tech, that implies 163 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque from 1,400 revolutions per minute, meaning it's no sprinter. Top speeds quoted at 121 miles per hour as the 062 miles per hour period of 11.8 seconds isn't a more than adequate. Thankfully the 7 speed 7 Tronic plus automatic transmission is great, with smooth shifts and sensible gearing for every single ratio, allowing it to be settled at both urban and motorway speeds. It's only during spells of hard acceleration the motor becomes raucous. Gutsier Mercedes-Benz V250D. If performance is more of the priority, and if you regularly drive on vacation where gathering speed more rapidly is useful, next the V250D launched because the V250 Blue Tech in 2015 would be the V-Class to consider. To it is known as quick is definitely an overstatement, but it's brisk enough to surprise other drivers which has a 9.1 second 062 mph time along with a 129 mph top speed. These figures are possible due to power being cranked as much as 190 horsepower using a complementary surge and peak torque to 440 newton meters, still on tap from 1,400 revolutions per minute. Variable driving modes. Some may believe that just because Mercedes have their agility select driving mode system, it doesn't mean the class must have it too. But it does. Every time you begin the car, it defaults to comfort. A reasonable throttle response, gear change is lower along the rev range plus more supple damping for that suspension. It's fine out and about but if you need more response, plus a slightly firmer feel to your handling, sport will work better, but be warned this makes the engine noisier since the gears are held on to fur for a longer time. The remaining two modes are manual do you really need to push it using the leader pedals. And eco. This more fuel-efficient setting sounds worthy, but it's extremely unresponsive as well as the miles per gallon uplift is negligible. Handling is preferable to its size suggests. Corners well but body roll is ever-present. V-Class handles best when it's being driven gently. It doesn't matter how clever you might be, 
beating the laws of physics just isn't for the cards, plus the class will not quite have the capacity to shake off its Van Lank handling characteristics. After all, to use lengthy as two guises, it's comfortably 5 meters nose to tail, almost 2 meters tall and also over 2 tons in weight. However, Mercedes claims it's got made great inroads to increasing the experience for V-Class drivers thanks towards the agility control, the late generation of adaptive electronic stability control escape systems and the auto's air suspension arrangement. Certainly the V-Class corners more rapidly than its some van drive rivals, and resists understeer admirably, though the standard car-based MPV will more than likely still outdo it about the same a part of road. There is a noticeable body roll, negated somewhat in sport mode, especially with high speed direction changes, however, you soon learn how to either trust the traction offered from your chassis or decrease instead. Drive of class while using cruise control on and your vehicle's own settings will slow you down whether or not this deems which the speed and steering angle aren't appropriate. It does play this game somewhat too safely, and you can always override it together with your right foot. Mercedes is aware in the limitations that such boxy packaging affords, and also the intelligent drive system utilizes a variety of radar, camera and ultrasound sensors to boost the experience about the move, for instance crosswind assist to decrease the impact of lateral gusts billowing within the V-class's flanks. In archetypal Mercedes style, the steering is for the light side as well as the V-class's controls don't encourage you to definitely press on too difficult. It truly is, all things considered, a motor vehicle that performs best when driven gently. Although the brake pedal itself is firm, the Mercedes stopping power inspires confidence, having an impressive power to slow the V-Class down rapidly from speed due to ventilated discs front and back. V-Class dash isn't remotely just like the Vito vans. But the driving position feels as though a commercial vehicle. Class S controls and interior styling abound climb aboard plus it certainly looks impressive. The V-Class's forebears are actually lumbered using the van dashboard tarted up by appliques and also a broader spectrum of colored plastic, but this can be altogether different. It borrows an identical layout and design compared to that seen within the class and GLC ranges, along having a suite of the solid feeling switch gear. The curving dash top, that's finished inside a leather look material flows neatly in the doors and feels a great deal more grown up and civilized compared to a van based vehicle has any directly to. In fact, the one aspect that remains as being a reminder of their commercial vehicle origins would be the driving position, which, while comfortable, is high and upright. You can never kid yourself you're piloting an SUV. Quality is a great one, and can buyers expect more only at that price. While the class-like interior is often a sound basis, it's worth remembering how the V-Class's pricing places it alongside the larger echelons on the A-Class range, and with this point it underwhelms a bit, not nearly feeling high enough quality regarding grades of plastic. Still, it's 24-7 compared together with the angular, hard plastic facade that Vito drivers face. The leather cloud tire is comfortable to carry and features many on the controls needed to operate the auto's numerous multimedia menus along with the central information computer screen between the main instruments. Thanks to electric seat controls borrowed through the class, it's all too easy to get comfortable driving, which is additionally adjustable for reach and rake. Although the vista outside is extremely good thanks to your enormity from the windows, the windscreen pillars are certainly chunky. Yes, there's a little triangle of glass ahead in the front doors in traditional MPV style, but also in all honesty they're more towards the benefit of exterior design, as you have seen precious little away from them. A fantastic long-distance cruiser. Space and comfort for approximately 8 adults. Allround climate control works well. Considering its Vito van based origins, Mercedes-Benz of class comfort is surprisingly good. There's little with the crashing, banging and rattling around over surface changes as seen in many rivals, the firm claiming that the stiffer body shell cuts down on the vibrations which will make their way into your cabin, while air suspension enhances its pliancy. At speed especially the ride quality is impressive, 
managing to float gently over most road imperfections by having an ease comparable to Mercedes executive saloons, though it has to be noted by using just the driver and sidecar the class feels less well planted. Thanks to best-in-class aerodynamics wind noise has never been an issue, despite door mirrors the size spades. More obvious is engine noise under hard acceleration and tire roar, particularly when there are few people inside the car as well as the vast cabin acts being a mobile echo chamber. That resonance from driving on elements of concrete motorway quickly becomes tiresome. The seats are leather-clad with all the front ones electrically adjustable and heated for a small charge. Integral armrests be sure you feel suitably hemmed, while those inside the rear are equally sumptuous and adult-sized. Middle row seats, whether there is the three-seater bench or the set of two captain's chairs, can face forwards or backwards, while all from the back seats is usually slid around on floor-mounted rails. They fold forwards and is usually reclined. Although should you intend to eliminate them to ensure use of those van-like internal dimensions, then you'd best obtain a few services at the gym beneath your belt first. If you will find the Burmester upgraded speaker system there's a good voice amplification system to be sure the driver hold a civilized conversation for the move with those inside the rearmost list of seats and or vice versa. Climate control is, mercifully, accessible in all three rows using a separate temperature control for that rear compartment and four roof-mounted vents. Even on hot days it soon cools on the cabin, but with such a large number of air to chill it can be invariably noisy for the primary few minutes before the desired temperature is nearer to being reached. Ventilation may be improved further by opting to always have the side windows open at their trailing edges, in lieu of winding down much like the glass within the front doors. There's a visual downside of the arrangement as being the Kurama look strip on the base from the windows is deleted, making the F-Class look more van-like to be a consequence. Only two trim levels from the range. Both are well appointed, though. Vast array of options available. Ignore several lengths plus the different seating configurations, plus the F-Class is usually a relatively simple range, which has a pair of trim levels entirely on both in the engine options. Standard Mercedes-Benz F-Class MPV Equipment Sport Entry point on the F-Class range it could be, even so the Sport isn't spared niceties through the equipment list. 18-inch alloy wheels LED headlamps and tail lights Rear privacy glass Panoramic glass roof long versions only Roof rails with an adized finish Electric side doors Electric tailgate with separately opening tailgate glass Electrically folding door mirrors with auto dimming rear view mirror. Active parking assist with a reversing camera. Tricolor ambient lighting. Audio 20 multimedia package with Garmin Satanov. Napa leather upholstery. Heated front seats with integral armrests. AMG line. Choose the range topping class, not for added performance except for a boosted kit roster. 19 inch alloy wheels. AMG body kit with different back and front bumpers, side sill extensions plus a tailgate spoiler. Metallic paint. Carbon fiber look interior appliques. Chrome air vent bezels. Optional Mercedes-Benz F-Class MPV extras. Like almost every other car in Mercedes range the F-Class is available having a wide array of optional extras, many of which are around the pricey side. Safe at this specific option is covered in side section below. Included from the exhaustive list of choices are 7 seater layout with pop up table instead of 8 seats long and extra long versions only, standard of the class has 7 seats without a table. Upgraded command multimedia system with 8.4 inch screen and online capabilities. Burmester multi channel surround sound speaker package. Electrically adjustable front seats with memory package. 360 degree camera system. Load compartment divider with two collapsible boxes. Full 5 star rating from Euro and Cap. Raft of safety kits as standard. Optional driving assistance pack is worthwhile. Mercedes Benz carries a long established good name for vehicle safety, so it's hardly surprising that in the event the class was crashed, stood because of the experts at Euro and Cap that it was awarded the whole 5 star rating.
standard over-the-range are child locks for your electrically sliding rear doors, automatic wipers and LED lights front and back with automatic main beam and brake lights that glow brighter the quicker the interest rate of deceleration. A self-parking function is standard but we will recommend complementing that with all the optional 360-degree camera system. Attention alert monitors the trucker for indications of drowsiness, as you move the collision prevention assist feature gains advantage from autonomous emergency braking to mitigate against lower speed accidents. Crosswind assist stops the class from wandering around the road in high side winds, especially at higher speeds and open areas. Key safety options include Lane tracking package Landkeeping assist vibrates the wheel when the auto ventures over lines within the road, with blind spot assist flagging up markers inside the door mirror glass if the auto detects another vehicle approaching from behind. Driving assistance package, adds to your above features with pre-safe that monitors the potential of an accident and primes the protection systems including tightening the top seat belts and Distronic adaptive cruise control. How many ice fix points does the Mercedes-Benz of Class MPV have? All of classes have four ice fix points. On bench seats, they may be located from the center and all side positions, while captain's chairs possess a set each. Vast interior with space for eight. Three lengths available, are all roomy. Seats have become heavy and hard to take out. Much although the firm wishes to distance itself from such comparisons, being based on a van means Mercedes-Benz of class practicality is virtually exemplary. Certainly there's no reason to worry about running outside of interior room, and leg, shoulder and headroom are obtainable in abundance thanks to your vast cabin. There's genuine space for approximately 8 adults and luggage. Unless you may need 8 seats, we'd recommend the 7-seater package complete having a handy pop-up table on long and extra long of classes. It works particularly well if your middle row faces backwards, creating more of your lounge feel inside the back. Folding the seats is undoubtedly an easy job, along with sliding them across the cabin, though removing them completely is usually a job for two different people due to their weight. Slotting them back into the rail system uses a degree of deafness that further slows around the operation. Slightly disappointingly, there's little stowage space for rods and ends about the cabin. There's a covered cubby in the base from the dash which has a couple of cup holders and USB points, complemented by well-sized door bins along with a glove box, but apart from four cup holders inside the back that's it. The dimensions relate towards the class extra long, even so the regular 4895mm and long 5140mm versions are hardly compact. Inevitably. The nose on the longest version will poke beyond most auto parking spaces, but also in spite of the, as well as width, it's the class's height that restricts which you could park it. At 1880mm tall it's too big for many multi-story car parks, book advance before you decide to pre-book parking. The load space behind the rearmost seats is similarly impressive offering approximately 1,410 liters using the seats available on extra-long versions, remove the back chairs and this jumps to 4,630 liters. Even because of the seats in position, probably the most compact of class will swallow 610 liters of luggage, the long around 1,030 liters. The tailgate glass might be opened separately too. Great for tight spaces in which the vast boot door is way too large to look at properly. We'd recommend the optional luggage area cover using its fold-out carry boxes located from it, they're just the thing for containing smaller groceries as opposed to have them roll around around the boot floor. Mercedes does suggest that this of class is usually aimed at active outdoor sports people and also families and business shuttle services but we're undecided many will be capable of stomach throwing in muddy bikes or sandy surfboards into this type of lavishly equipped cabin. However, an array of roof boxes and tailgate mounted cycle racks are offered.